Euchid was a little magazine whose first edition was published in 1958 in New York City. The editor, Everett Leroy Jones, was born in New Newark, New Jersey, on October 7th in 1934. Leroy Jones published the magazine with his wife, Hetty Cohen, who was also the editor of the Partisan Review. The two of them were heavily involved with the avant-garde and beat movement of the time. Leroy's first project, which he worked on before Yugen, was Totem Press, which he worked on with Korth Books. He only began working on Yugen when his own poetry was denied publication in mainstream venues like Poetry and the Kenyan Review. Jones began his production of Yugen, stating that, It was started because I didn't see publications coming out that I was interested in. Therefore, I thought I should start one to try to gather poetry that I thought was interesting. I just thought there was nothing happening on the poetry scene as it should be, so I started publishing. Yugen ran for a total of eight issues before it stopped. Its primary editor was of course Leroy Jones, with help from his wife Hetty Cohen and other friends such as Diane DePrima. Throughout its eight issue run, Yugen published works by Allen Ginsberg, William Burroughs, Gregory Casco, Gary Snyder, Philip Whalen, and Diane DePrima. The eighth and final issue of Yugen was published in 1962. According to Jones, the magazine had simply outlived its usefulness, as there were other magazines, poets, and writers publishing elsewhere. In reality, many of these magazines and artists were started and supported by Leroy Jones. Excellent examples of this are his close work with Diane DePrima, The Floating Bear, and Culture. While there were other outlets for new poetry, it is quite possible he also became more preoccupied with his own political and social ideas. In 1962, the year of the last publication of Yugen, he also wrote two plays that clearly portrayed a hostility towards white society. In the next couple of years, after Yugen was stopped, he published many other works that supported Malcolm X and similar ideas until Malcolm X was assassinated in 1965. Leroy then started his life over, leaving his family and changing his name to Amiri Baraka. It is believed that Leroy Jones stopped publications not only because other magazines were publishing similar works, but because he was simply too invested in his own new political and social ideas as a black cultural nationalist. Overall, Yugen's run is considered a success. Its original goal was simply to provide an alternative source of publication for non-mainstream works, which were not existent at its creation. But by the time the magazine finished its run, there were multiple avenues for beat artists to publish their works. Yugen worked as a boundary breaker and a platform for other magazines to publish their works, and for Leroy to start other projects such as helping Diane de Prima edit The Floating Bear. In the end, the magazine was a success. It enabled Leroy to publish what he enjoyed, and at the end of its run, it was able to retire and leave its ideas in the hands of other editors and magazines.